Everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are taking a look at the Lion slash Rexy scene um, that was released in one of the small kind of TV, I think it was like meant for TV advertisements um, from Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom. And I think they're about 30 seconds each. There's a couple, you know, but the one in particular I am taking a look at is the one entitled Gone. So everything basically in that 30 second clip is basically relatively the same as everything we've seen from all the other trailers and whatnot. But there is an awesome, awesome scene of a lion so I, I'm not gonna pretend that I haven't watched it already. I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's so cool. Like I've already seen it a couple times um, and I've heard some people's opinions on it, you know, just their quick kind of two bits on it. Kind of, I wanna get your opinion on it and I kind of wanna see it a little bit more detail. So let's take a look at it. Dr. Ian Malcolm is kind of, you know, just saying his quotes there that he says during this kind of conference inquiry scene or whatnot. And then we get this awesome scene of the lion and the T-Rex, Rexy, yet like roaring at the same time. So let's take a look at that quickly. Welcome to Jurassic World. Yeah, so it looks like they're both growing at the same time. At first, I kind of had a little inclining that like, oh, maybe it's actually Rexy and she's part of the exhibit. And uh, because there's like, you know, the moat and stuff and obviously like maybe she's actually part of the exhibit, you know, like she's actually just coincidentally by the lion, you know, the king of the beasts, king of the jungle, and that she was the queen during her time. And I know that a lot of people on YouTube are saying like, oh, it's not technically, you know, the king of the jungle. He lives in the savannah. Savannah, ooh, na, na. Most of the lions live in savannah, ooh, na, na. So I looked it up and jungle is actually derived from like an Indian slash Hindi word, jungal. And that means kind of, you know, uncultivated, wild land, you know, and they associated that with, you know, forests and even deserts, just places that were kind of wild and primal. So through the years and stuff, uh, it was known as like the king of the jungle, like king of the inhabited wild areas. You guys think you know who the king of the jungle is? I found the king of the jungle. It's Jungle Muffin. Are you the king of the jungle? Are you the king of the jungle? Okay, you can go. You can go, I'm sorry. We just wanted to see you in your lion costume. If you see in the back here, when she's coming out slowly, you can see in the back, part of the fence is actually falling like as she's walking. So when I, when I first saw it, I didn't really clue in on that. I just thought, hey, she's, maybe she's part of the exhibit, you know, like maybe she's actually part of the exhibit, but it, it shows that she's actually like breaking part of the fence while she's going to kind of um, challenge this lion. And I just think it's such an amazing symbolic scene. So if you remember from um, Lost World Jurassic Park, um, you remember the guy and he was like, um, he was kind of uh, presenting on behalf of InGen, you know, to like investors and stuff like that. And he was like um, trying to market all the animals that they were taking, you know, from Isla Sorna and uh, trying to bring them to the mainland. And they were, and he was like, you don't bring people halfway around the world to visit the zoo. You bring the zoo to them. San Diego is the perfect set. So I looked it up and actually um, the San Diego Zoo does have this Skyfari feature. So if you see here in the back, when they're roaring, you can actually see one of these kind of trolleys, these like sky trolleys or sky trams, you know, on this kind of um, course up there and it's kind of touring around the zoo. So I have a feeling that this is possibly San Diego. I mean, why would the T-Rex, why would it coincidentally be like at this zoo? I feel like they brought the T-Rex to the zoo trying to maybe make it into an attraction um, at the San Diego Zoo and it totally broke out. Like it totally did what it did on Isla Nublar and it, in Jurassic Park and it totally just like broke out. Maybe some sort of systems went down or something like that and it broke out. I, I don't feel, I don't feel that it was like coincidentally just wandered into a zoo and out of all things, the San Diego Zoo, which in Lost World, they were trying to bring animals to that zoo. A lot of people were also speculating, you know, if this was morning time or if this was kind of sunset time, you know, did this happen before or after the incident of the Indoraptor, you know? Um, and I honestly think that it, I, well, I hope that's actually after because it's just showing, you know, the havoc that's being created and all the dinosaurs starting to become loose. Like I said, guys, in my kind of predictions and stuff, I hope that all the dinosaurs just wreak havoc on the world. And I hope that at the end, you know how it says Fallen Kingdom and everyone knows that like, oh, the volcano scene, you know, all the dinosaurs are ending, their whole chapter and story are ending. But I hope that there's actually a big twist at the end and Fallen Kingdom is actually referring to our society, 
our society is gonna fall. We are gonna be a fallen kingdom. Like our kingdom will fall because of these dinosaurs running loose, creating havoc, and essentially gonna be creating like this kind of post-apocalyptic chaos world. It's just gonna be so cool. Dinosaurs ruling the air, dinosaurs ruling the water, and dinosaurs ruling the land like they did. Oh, we also have acclaimed um, paleontologist, blah, 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 uh, Dr. Alan Grant. Uh, Alan, what do you think about this? And he'll be like, blah, 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 blah. Life? found a way and it's like yes yes and then bum 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 and then it's over and uh, i think i think that would be a really good ending so i'm just super excited and i really can't wait i can't believe it's in like another month guys i mean it's in june like holy shoot so in the comments down below let me know how you guys think rexy and the lion got to be face to face do you think that she was brought in there as an exhibit do you think that she just you know stumbled across you know this zoo and happened to just go kind of match this lion because she kind of maybe smelt him from far away that it was like kind of you know the head honcho there that she had to beat up to kind of be the queen of this neighborhood and also do you think this is san diego do you think that it is true like from lost world the second jurassic park Park. Do you think that uh, this is actually all happening in the San Diego Zoo? You know, as I pointed out, the kind of Sky Fari trams in the back and stuff. Do you think this is San Diego? I don't know. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, unless if I get invited for Chinese food. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary. Give me